Now, for some relatively good news after weeks of steadily falling across the board, Israeli and other world stock markets are finally seeing some growth. But the growth is largely due to the assumption that aid packages will be passed in the very near future. So, how will the market fare going into the future, and how will this affect us as we try to stay financially above water? Joining us with the answers is ILTV contributor and consumer behavior expert, Dr. Vili Abraham. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. Now, where does this growth exactly come from, and how long is it expected to last? All right, so if we look at the Israeli stock market, it's actually the second day that we're seeing gains. And this comes in the backdrop of the gains in the New York Stock Exchange. We saw the Dow Jones increase by 11.4%, the NASDAQ by 8.1%, and S&P by 9.4%. Uh, and this is expected to last uh, for quite a while, I believe, um, because the uh, economic incentive package has been approved. Uh, in Congress, and that is going to uh, make a big difference to the economy. I mean, every uh, American adult is going to get $1,200, and every child is going to get $500, and $150 billion are going to be provided to the health system in the form of AIDS. $360 billion uh, will come in the form of grants to small businesses, and $500 um, billion dollars to supplement the administrators, uh, the administration's budget. Now you, so that's a huge sum, and it's unprecedented, by the way. Wow. All right, well, so you, you, you were just mentioning the United States aid package, but in Israel, uh, you know, are we likely to see a similar aid package passed uh, in the near future? Because I know we've already passed uh, certain aid packages, and, but is that going to be enough to keep people afloat? Well, uh, as of now, uh, the Israeli government is probably going to provide $13 million to support the uh, research and development of high-tech companies that are going to uh, develop technology to cope with the coronavirus pandemic. Uh, $1,600 will be provided to small businesses and 5 billion shekels uh, to help boost the economy. However, according to some estimates, we might need as much as 15 billion shekels in order to keep the economy going. So, uh, so this growth that we've seen in the stock market, are we, are we expecting it to, to go down in the near future again? Uh, you know, how volatile is the market, I guess, is the question. Well, you know, the, uh, the Tel Aviv Stock Exchange is, is really uh, consistent with what is happening in, in New York. So as long as uh, investors are optimistic in the United States, the stock market will be uh, very positive here as well, because if there's optimism in New York, then it means that we, uh, Israel, who export and import products from the United States, should be at least calm in that perspective. Because if the economy is, is, will be in great shape or will return to be in good shape in the United States, then we'll also benefit from it. The United States is a very important strategic uh, import and export partner to the Israeli economy. All right. Well, thank you so much, Vili, for joining us. Stay healthy, uh, and we'll see you again next week. Thank you. You too.